Hello, in today's video I'm going to be making this little watercolour book. I'm using this um, cutter and a disc binding system. So I've already cut my sheets to 8 by 9 inches. It's fairly thick watercolour paper so I can only put one sheet through at a time. I'm just going to mark where the edges are so that every page is exactly the same. Has the holes in the same place. So it makes these mushroom shapes which is perfect for disc binding. So I'm not going to show you all of those, but you get the idea, don't you? So I'm just going to get my discs out and select which ones I'm going to use. I've done another one. I did eight pages. Or did I do 12? I think I did 12 in the end. And now I've got these glitter ones. I've got eight of those, which will do the job. Uh, and you pop them all together like this. The first couple of pages are kind of difficult. It tends, they tend to flop about a bit but once you get one or two in you're away i do like the disc binding system for watercolors in particular because you can pop the pages in and out very easily and if you want to tape them down somewhere then you can do that you can take them out of the book tape them down and work in them but actually this paper is fairly thick so i may not need to do that and I've made um, just some cardboard grey covers for it, just to keep it clean. So yes, 12 pages in the end. And now I'm going to work in it. Very excited. I'm going to be using my new paints, my lovely new Schmincke paints, the ones with the pearlescence at the bottom. And I'm also going to be using my Ordinary watercolour palette. I've mixed that lovely colour there and I might be using some of the gold, I'm not sure. So I'm going to start with this lovely dark colour. Now what that is, is, what is that colour? That's quinacridone magenta, I do believe. And then I'm going to mix in some of the ivory black from the Shaminka set. So it makes a very nice dark colour. I must um, dream of colour because as I was falling asleep last night, oops, got a bit of a mess there. As I was falling asleep last night, I suddenly thought those two colours would look great together. And they do, aren't they gorgeous? So it's a lovely avocado skin colour, isn't it? So I'm just popping some down on the page. And now I'm using, oh gosh, what was that? Quinacridone Gold. It's a lovely bright colour. Most of my colours in that pan are Windsor and Newton, or they do have some Daniel Smiths as well, I do believe. Some of the colours that I can't get in Windsor and Newton, I will buy elsewhere. I might have some Sennelier in there as well. So what I'm trying to do is encourage the two colours to blend together, because you get some lovely, interesting colours. You also sometimes get some little cabbage effects as well, um, which does happen in this one, I'll show you later. And now I'm going in with some cobalt turquoise. I love this colour. As you can tell by the pan, it was quite empty. So I'm going to pop that in these other areas as well. And now you can see a bit of cabbage effect happening on the top uh, turquoise as it's bleeding into the um, quinacridone rose black mixture. And I really like that. Now I'm going to use my rigger. Um, which is very long. This is my ordinary paintbrush, it's Da Vinci, love it. I never use um, squirrel or anything like that. I always use good quality synthetic brushes. I'm going to make some little leaf shapes outside the edge there. I'm going to do some at the top as well. This is all um, intuitive painting, really. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. It's been a while since I've just sat down and played with my watercolours. So I thought I'd enjoy this. Especially now I've got those lovely new ones. Um, and they do have to earn their keep now because they were very pricey. It's bread and water until the end of the month for me. <laughs> And now I'm coming in with um, my Intense pencil and just doing some mark making. And for some reason I wanted to draw more of those leaf shapes. 
So I'm drawing some more of those leaf shapes. <laughs> a bit of a squiggle there and another leaf shape. Now I do come in later on and reinforce some of those lines. But I do like the way, as I'm pressing down with the pencil, the watercolour is moving away from where the pencil line is. I don't know why that is. Hmm, very interesting. I mean, they are water soluble. Actually, I'm dipping the nib in water to encourage it to uh, be thicker. I enjoy that. Right now, I need to let this dry. So here I am, it's dry now. And now what I'm doing here is something called the reductive technique, where I'm lifting the colour off. Now you can't do that with all colours because some of them stain, but these don't. Um, I should have put some lifting preparation down beforehand because I knew I wanted to do this. There, I like that. So basically, it's just wiping a baby wipe through a stencil. And I'm going to draw I've already done it, but I forgot to turn the camera on. But I'm going over a second time, drawing some circles. Just two. That little one on the left and an even smaller one on the top. Which now appears to be in the bottom, but it's the top. <laughs> and I'm using a drawing tool to help me there. I've done some dots as well with my Posca pen. And now I'm going to come in with the uh, pearlescence, which is the whole reason for this video. <laughs> I wanted to try out my pearlescence. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to paint some of the leaves with pearlescent paint. This is a beautiful colour. I love it. I've forgotten what it's called. I'm trying the um, yellow gold in there. I think I go over with the gold paint actually to reinforce it later on. And now the magenta pearl in the magenta areas. And this side of the leaf is also going to be magenta. So you've got the nice contrast of the magenta on top of the cobalt turquoise. They go, oops, got a bit on my, press the brush into the wrong pan there. Never mind, I'll sort that out later. So yes, you've got the magenta against the turquoise, and I love that. I do enjoy watercolours. They're a lot quicker, actually. I found myself, I worked on this a lot quicker than I normally do when I do an abstract in acrylics. And I would have thought it would be the other way around. You can see the sheen of the pearlescence a little bit there. What I'll do at the end is I'll I'll turn it um, towards the light and you'll see the flash of the pearlescence. A bit of dust on there, a bit of dust on there. See if I can get that off. Oh yes, there it goes. I don't know how I've got that dust there. You can see the see the glint there. I think I might um, touch up that yellow there. I'm going to go around the edge a little bit with the pencil again because I've lost the edge. And now coming in with the gold. And this is the mid gold. This set I bought a while ago and I haven't really got around to use it, but now I have an excuse. I think I'm cleaning the green there that had the red I accidentally dipped into it. Yep, and now I'm going to apply some green onto this leaf. So now we've got, the, well I say green, it's um, a turquoise. 
And now I've got the turquoise against the dark, dark red, which is a lovely contrast. I'm using a fine brush for this. And I'm going to do the same in the top ones. I think I'll enjoy working in this art journal as an alternative to getting my acrylics set up. Uh, watercolour is something you can get up and leave very easily. One thing you must remember though is never to leave your brushes soaking in the water. But the good thing is, is you don't have to rush and wash them. And now I'm just touching up this area with a bit more gold. The gold paints are very cheap ones from Japan, I do believe, and they're not very dense. So it takes two coats really to get a good effect, whereas with the Schmincke, one coat has done the job. I'm going in with the pencil, but I've lost some of the lines, I'm just reinforcing them. And I've dampened the pencil in water as well. Because they're ink tense and um, they're water reactive. I think leaves must be on my mind now because it's autumn and they're beginning to fall from the trees. So basically I'm working all over now, just tidying up a few of these lines. Where I've lost them and to help make them more, make more sense. I'm a bit worried now, so I'm going to put my arm down in some wet paint, so I'm getting something to lean on. It's another trick with watercolours. In fact, it's best to work as if you were writing from the top right, left-hand corner downwards, so you don't put your hand in the um, wet paint. But I'm working all over, so... And I'm working intuitively, so it's not like a logical painting, if you know what I mean, with um, distinct steps. I only have a few videos with watercolours on my channel, but um, if you'd like to see more, do let me know down below. I'll be happy to do some more of these. I really enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching. You can see the glint now, just about. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.